as he pulls to the vertical. Does a quarter roll. This is a quarter clover leap. Entry speed was 330 miles an hour, a 4G pull from behind the crowd. There'll be times when I want you to do nothing but listen to the sound of this award-winning family airplane. What a great American story this is. All right, Scott picking up altitude. The half Cuban 8, a 320 mile an hour entry. This 27 year old maestro of the B-51s, a four times the force of gravity pull. Now for you pilots, here are the power settings that Scooter will be setting up in this award-winning Quicksilver. 37 inches of manifold pressure and 2300 RPM. As he brings the aircraft around from the right very quickly, he will be setting up for all of you spectators a barrel roll. Now a barrel roll was developed in World War II as a coordination maneuver that allows the use of all of the controls in the airplane and the throttle to have a pilot get ready for air-to-air -air combat. So you won't see it around a point. You will see it change altitude, change direction, and change speed. All right, target speed inbound, 270 miles per hour. All right, you'll watch the nose come up. Now, the direction will change. All the controls are being used in a coordinated manner. Change direction, change speed, change altitude, and end up at the same speed and relatively the same heading which you started. All right, now after a quick turnaround, Scooter will be coming back in and setting up for a variation of the slow roll. It will be the four-point hesitation roll. Now, as he does this turnaround and comes back in, back when his dad, Bill, was flying, and working for Lockheed and Top Secret Works back when he was a kid, there was another kid out there that was equally as young by the name of Steve Hinton, who also went on to do some great things in aviation, like winning air races, like working for the motion picture companies, like being an airline pilot. Well, there was Bill Yoke in Southern California way back when, along with Steve Hinton, Scooter Yoke, and young Stephen Hinton. They, too, as Scott divides that into the eight-point hesitation roll. Actually, a little bit more than that is a tribute to Bob Hooper. Now the sons are the two reigning youngest members, youngest individuals. Rolls-Royce Merlin engine. It's a V12. It has a purr like no other. Listen. Shh. Minimum radius turn, 340 miles an hour, eight times the force of gravity. Listen and look, the P-51, Cadillac of the sky. Oh, that young man could fly and his dad could build some airplanes and his mom is cool too. Give them a big round of applause. <laughs> he is not finished yet. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our pilot, Scott Yoke, call sign Scooter, has got a unique maneuver that no other P-51 or airshow pilot executes that I have seen. It's called the Pentagon Hesitation Roll. He'll stop his rate of roll every 72 degrees, and each one of the stops will honor a branch of the armed services. Get your eyes and cameras ready. This is the only time you will see this today as we pay tribute. All right, Scott's got to stop every 72 degrees. That is a handful. A salute to the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Marines, and the Coast Guard. He has done it, ladies and gentlemen. Give Scooter Yoke a big round of applause as he salutes your military. Now, slowing down to about 270 miles an hour. Again, the power will be back to about 37 inches of manifold pressure, or thereabouts, not exactly, and 2300 RPM. That's, that's a, uh, a ballpark figure. Scott's gonna put it wherever it's comfortable for him. 
Now he'll roll the airplane upside down, and while he's flying upside down to a limited time of only 10 seconds, before he has to roll right side up again, he'll wave to the crowd. Up goes the nose. One half roll. And as a little salute to you, the crowd, and all the men and women in military. Just the sound of that airplane is music to the ears. 15,985 were built around the world. We only count that I will explain to you in detail. Get a load of this award-winning airplane. Ladies and gentlemen, Scott Yoke in Bill Yoke's Quicksilver B-51. Later on, his good friend, Mr. Dave Folk, that's F-O-L-K, will fire up that big... Photo pass followed by the victory roll. Now he's going to the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Marines, and the Coast Guard. He has done it, ladies and gentlemen. Give Scooter Yoke a big Up goes the nose. One half roll. And as a little salute to you, the crowd, and all the men and women in military. Just the sound of that. A load of this award winning airplane. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Scott Yoke in Bill Yoke's Quicksilver B 51. Of Fort Worth, Texas. There is the Falcon turn. This airplane. You can see the reflection. 